All right, one more minute so that other people can join in. I still have two more people who are in the last call that I've not seen here. Okay, so um, let's go ahead. When they when they come, I'll let them in. So um, I was explaining we on. I'll share my screen again. All right, so we're we're here. We're looking at the information we have on um, BSC scan, how to use BSC scan. All right, so these are just information that you can look at on your own. If you have any information, if you have any question, you can ask as time goes on, when you start buying your coin, how to, when you are doing your research, if you have any question, that's why we have the group. The group is not, is there for you. You can ask any question, we can all learn together from there. So you can start doing your own research also. All right, now I remember that in our last class, I was telling you that I'll tell you the advantage of buying from um, a decentralized exchange and also the disadvantage. Now a, de a decentralized exchange like your trust wallet, um, one of the advantage of buying from trust wallet is most of these coins, if people are buying on trust wallet using let's say pancake swap, they charge, they charge tax, they charge tax on it. The developers has created it in such a way that they charge tax. For example, if I want to buy on trust wallet, we are going to do the practical when we start, uh, when I start showing you how to use your trust wallet to buy a coin. You will, you will notice that um, there is a place where we enter percentages. Let me remember the name. Let me just go to my trust wallet and look at and look at the actual so that we'll use the right, the right terminology for it. Sorry, I'm going to my pancake swap. So that I use the right terminology for it, because it's very important in the crypto space. Because when you are in when you are in certain groups and they use these terminologies, um, so it doesn't look like you are just a novice. You would you would remember that you've been you've been taught this. So if you are jotting, you jot it. Okay, good. It's called slippage slippage tolerance. Now that slippage tolerance is a percentage that is permissible to buy a coin or to sell a coin. Now, what it means, most coins on PancakeSwap, you see the developers have set the slippage to tolerance for both selling and buying as 12%. Now, what happens to that 12%? It means they charge you 12%. What it means, if, for example, I want to buy 100, 100 of that coin, if they charge me 12%, 
means from my 100 I'm buying, they will take out 12%. Now, what happens is they do what is called reflection. I'm using the right terminology now in the crypto space. Reflection, so that in case you are jotting down, now explain what it means. Reflection means for everybody that is holding that coin on their decentralized wallet, or for example, trust wallet, when somebody buys his coin and they charge that 12%, they will now distribute that 12% around to everybody who holds that coin. So it's like an incentive for you to hold the coin. Also, the same thing for selling. If you want to sell the coin, they will also charge you that, uh, that tolerance, that slippage to tolerance. You set your slippage tolerance to 12%. So for both buying and selling, if you are buying or you are selling, they charge you that percentage. Now that percentage is now reflected on the holdings of every other person holding. So it's an incentive for you to hold your coin. So anybody buying, they, give, they dash you some. Anybody selling, as the person selling, they charge him that percentage and they also distribute to those people by uh, holding the coin because they know that there is benefit in holding and they don't want everybody to just sell that coin. That's also part of price control. So that is the, that's the benefit of holding the coin in your decentralized exchange, in your, in your wallet, in your trust wallet. But if it is an exchange, you buy that coin on, they will not charge you those uh, that 12%, which is the um, which is an advantage for buying on uh, on a um, of um, of buying on a centralized exchange like Binance. But Binance doesn't have what is called reflection because Binance doesn't have what is called reflection. If I have a hundred of any coin on Binance, it remains a hundred, it's only the price that will be changing, but my quantity will not change. But if I'm holding that coin on Trust Wallet, if it is a coin that has reflection, any coin that they charge you percentage to buy or sell, it means it has reflection for people who are holding. So if I have a hundred of that coin on my Trust Wallet, you'll be shocked that by the next time you open your wallet, you are seeing a hundred and five, that's how it keeps increasing as long as you don't sell. Because anybody buying or selling, they give you reflection. So that's the advantage and also the disadvantage on both sides. I've explained that. So is that is that clear? Explanation. Is the explanation clear, please? I need response, please. It's clear, it's clear. All right, okay, good. So is there any questions so far? Any questions so far? Anybody with a question? No question. So it means everybody fully understand what we've explained. So if I if I tell you to go and get contract address for a coin now, you can easily get it. Everybody fully understands this, yes or no? Um, so we, to me, I understand. <laughs> Lot of Jesus. What happened? Who is speaking? Are you okay? Who was speaking? Yeah, it's up. Are you okay? I shouted. Yes, I'm okay. No, the noise. Oh. Uh, it's it's clear, but you know, we we'll still go back and study it for us to understand it better. Exactly, and one, and when we start our hands on on trust wallet, because why I introduced this is because on trust wallet you would need to go and copy your contract address, then you bring it to your trust wallet, you paste for you to be able to see the coin. 
and that's why we have, we are having this class because um, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll, we'll go into trust wallet tomorrow. Um, you would okay. you now do hands on, so everybody needs to understand how it how it functions, and everybody will do hands on by themselves. You have to go and copy the address, paste on your on your trust wallet, and activate the coin so you can see it on your trust wallet. It's very easy. So that's why we are doing this. Okay, thank you, sir. All right. So an advantage of this of what we did. That's why I'm using my laptop. Is I'm recording this. So you also see it, I'll post, I would publish it on my YouTube channel so you can go and rewatch if you want to watch at any time. Is that okay? Is that okay? We could not talk now. Oh, sorry, for my international guests that will watch this later, I not talk, many people should speak because my video will go very fast. So that I want to be sure that big they understand. Big Man, what's your YouTube address? Yes. Huh? Hey, Big Man, your YouTube channel, what's your address? Yes, I'm going to post it. I'll post it on our on the WhatsApp group, so you're going to see it. OK, excellent. All right. All right, so in the absence of um, no other question, you just um, do your revision from what you've jotted down until our next class when we'll be looking at um, decentralized exchange, our trust wallet, which is what we are using. Why for the um, for those people who are using iOS, uh, iPhone, remember I told you that you should download SafePal because um, our the apps, the apps is, um, is restricted on iOS, but we found a, we found a way of circumventing them using our safe path. So we can still use safe path to assess um, trust wallet on iOS. So that's why I said for those people who are using um, iPhone, please after downloading your trust wallet, also download safe path. We call use safe path to assess your trust wallet. I'm going to teach you all that as part of the class. I'm giving you more value than what's, what you paid for. All right, thank you very much. Um, I had fun going, this, going through this with you people. It also helped me keep uh, to be up to date. So in case you have any question and I can't answer it now, I'll still do my own research and get back to you. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. For the knowledge is